Hi guys! Good day! It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about the lips. Transforming standard form to general form. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So this is already part 3 of our video class. The part 1 of our video, we answered these examples. So we have 3 examples for the part 1, in which our H and K is at 0, 0 for numbers 1 and 2. So we explain this one step by step. So feel free to see the video class for you to really understand how to transform this one into general form. Now the part 2 of our video, we answered number 4. So once again, feel free to see the video class with regards to the part 2 of our video, we answered number 4. Now this time class, we will be answering number 5 and we will explain this one step by step. Alright, so this will be the part 3 of our video. Let's start. With number 5, once again class, if you're dealing with rational equations, if you're dealing with fractions, you need to eliminate the denominators. To transform this one into this general form, you need to eliminate the denominators class. You need to remove these denominators. How to do that one, sir? You need to find the LCM, the least common multiple. Now for numbers, for number 5 class, it's hard for us to find the LCM. The thing that you will do, we just need to multiply this denominator class, 25 and 144. Because if we do it manually, it will really take time class to find the LCM. Because these are large numbers, right? So the multiples of 25, you still remember? 25 times 1, that's 25. 25 times 2, that's 50. 25 times 3, that's 75, and so on. And we have 144, multiples of 144, we have 144. Then 144 4 times 2, that would be 288. And it will really take time class to find the least common multiple of 25 and 144. 4. So if you have this kind of equations, given numbers, large numbers and denominators, just simply multiply class 25 times 144. 4. Alright, so let's multiply. If the teacher will allow you to use calculator, that would be good for you. That's better. So let's multiply 5 times 4 is 20. Let's do it manually class. 20, 0 carry 2. 5 times 4 is 20 times 2. That's 2. That's 22. 2 carry 2. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 2 is 7. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 1 is 2. So you add 0. 8 plus 2 is 10. 0 carry 1. 1 plus 7 is 8, plus 8 is 16, carry 1, 3,000, 1 plus 2 is 3, 3,600. So the LCM of 25 and 144, that's 3,600. Alright, so 25 times 144, that's 3,600. So this will be, you multiply the equation by 3,600. Alright. So multiply the equation by 3,600. Alright, this will be large numbers class. So just bear with me. We need to answer this one step by step. Once again, you can just simply write 25. Okay, for 3,600 class, you can actually write 25 times 144. Right? 25 times 144. That's the same class because 25 times 144, that's 3,600. You can just simply copy the denominators. Or just write 3,600. That's the same class. Alright, then you distribute. Alright, distribute this one. So this will be 3,600 times this equation times quantity x minus 2 squared over 25. Close bracket plus... 3,600 times this equation. So, 3,600 times y minus 5 quantity squared over 144. Close bracket. Once again, class, I just put close bracket since we already have the parentheses. Parentheses for y minus 5. So, that's why I just put bracket. Then equals 3,600 times 1. 3,600 times 1 or 1 times 3,600. Alright, and then, can we divide this one? Yep, we can divide 3,600 by 25. 3,600 divided by 25, that's 144. Because 25 times 144, that's equals to 3,600. Therefore, to divide this one, when we divide 3,600 divided by 25, 
that's equals to 144. Alright, so divide this one. You can cancel this out. 3,600 divided by 25, that's 144. And then, 3,600 divided by 144, that's 25. Because 25 times 144, that's 3,600. Alright, so I hope you get this one class. Once you get the LCM, by multiplying these denominators, you, you, you divide class. 3,600 divided by 25, we just eliminated the denominator. That would be 144. Then 3,600 divided by 144, that's 25. Alright, and then we multiply class. 144 times this equation, that would be 144 times x minus 2 squared plus 25 times this equation, that's 25 plus y minus 5 squared equals 3,600. 3,600 times 1, 3,600. Quite tricky, right? So just bear with me, class. We need to do it step by step. Alright, so once again, copy 25, then multiply it by quantity y minus 5 squared. So we, we just eliminated the denominators, class. So next step, class, is we need to simplify this one. Once again, do not multiply 144 by this equation. We need to follow PEMDAS, class. Always remember PEMDAS, parenthesis, exponents comes first before multiplication. So simplify this one first before multiplying it by 144. Parenthesis, exponent. So simplify this one first. x minus 2, quantity squared. You can simplify this one by the square of binomial or you can do the FOIL method. So let's start with the FOIL method. x minus 2, quantity squared, it means x minus 2 times x minus 2. You multiply x minus 2 by itself twice. This is the same class. Using the FOIL method, if you still remember, FOIL method, first, outer, inner, last. So first, x times x, that would be x squared. Outer, x times negative 2, that's negative 2x. Positive times negative is negative. x times 2 is 2x. Inner, Negative 2 times x, that's negative 2x. Last, negative 2 times negative 2, that's positive 4. And then you combine like terms, guys. Combine like terms. So this will be x squared. Once again, if you both, ne we both have negatives, negative 2x and negative 2x, simply copy negative sign, then add the numbers. 2 plus 2 is 4. Then copy x, class. Simply copy x negative 4x. Once again, class, do not be confused. If you have both negatives, negative and negative, if you're combining, simply copy negative sign, then add the number 2 plus 2 is 4, copy x plus 4. So this will be the answer, class, in this equation. Alright, so this will be 144 times x squared minus 4x plus 4. Alright, but for me class, it's better to use the square of binomial because it's very easy class in the square of binomial. Alright, so let me explain class the square of binomial. You need to master this one class, the square of binomial. So we have x, quantity x minus 2 squared. So in the square of binomial class, it says you square the first term. So you square the first term, our first term is x. You square it, x squared. Then you multiply the first term and second term times 2. Multiply the first term and second term. So x times negative 2. Our second term is negative 2. Times 2. Times 2. Alright. And then you square the last term. Or the second term. You square the second term. So negative 2 then squared. So our final answer will be. You simplify. x squared. Or x quantity squared. It means x times x. That would be x squared x times negative 2, that's negative 2x, times 2, that's negative 4x. Then you square the last term, negative 2 times negative 2, that's positive 4. You will get the same answer, class. x squared minus 4x plus 4. x squared minus 4x plus 4. Let's do it again, class. We can actually answer this one, class, directly. 
manually in 3 to 5 seconds class, I think, if you master the square of binomial. I will just put the link class on the description down below with regards to the square of binomial. You need to master that one class, especially if you're dealing with ellipse, hyperbola, parabola, circle. So master the square of binomial class. Once again, you can do it. We can answer this one 3 to 5 seconds or 10 seconds. If you master this one, it's very, it's very easy class. I'm sure with that. First, you square the first term. You square this one, x times x, x squared. Then you multiply the first term and second term times 2. Multiply this one, x times negative 2. That's negative 2x times 2. That's negative 4x. Then you square the second term, negative 2 times negative 2. That's positive 4. That's it, class. Easy, right? For the square of binomial. So if you master this out, I'm sure, class, it will be really easy for you. See the video, class, for you to master the square of binomial. Alright, so this will be x squared minus 4x plus 4. So copy 25. Then let's do the square of binomial, class. Quantity y minus 5 squared. Once again, first thing to do, you square the first term. y times y, that's y squared. Then you multiply the first term and second term times 2. Y times negative 5, that's negative 5Y times 2, that's negative 10Y. Easy, right? And then you square the second term, negative 5 times negative 5. Once again, when you square, you multiply it by itself. Negative 5 times negative 5, that's positive 25. That's it, plus equals 3,600. So the square binomial class, you just look it and you can just answer it right away. Look at it and then you can answer that away. Square the first term, y times y, y squared. You multiply the first term and second term times 2. y times negative 5, that's negative 5y times 2, that's negative 10, 10y. Then you square the second term, negative 5 times negative 5, that's positive 25. Alright, and then we distribute class. We can now multiply every equation in this trinomial. So multiply 144 times x squared, that's 144x squared. 144 times negative 4x, this will be quite large numbers. 144 times 4. So positive times negative, our answer will be negative. So 4 times 4 is 16, 6 carry 1. 4 times 4 is 16, plus 1 17. 7 carry 1, 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 5. 576. Negative 5, 7, 6, x. Then 1, 4, 4 times positive 4. That's positive 5, 7, 6. Alright. So positive times negative is negative. 5, 7, 6, copy x. Positive times positive is 576. Same class 4 and 4. So we have same answer, 576. The other one is negative because positive times negative is negative. Alright, then distribute 25 times y squared. That's positive 25y squared. 25 positive times negative. 25 times negative 10. That would be negative. Then 25 times 10. You, you, you just add 1, 0 plus. When you multiply it by 10, just add, just add 1, 0 in this particular number. 25 times negative 10. That's negative 250y. 25 times 10. That's 250. Then 25 times 25, so 25 times 25, I think that's 625, okay, let me multiply, 25 times 25, 5 times 5 is 25, 5, carry 2, 5 times 2 is 10, okay, 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12, carry 12, okay, bring down 12, 5 times 5 is 5, 25, 5, carry 2, 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12, 2 times 5 is 10, 0, carry 1, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. You add 5, bring down 2, 6, 625. Alright, so 25 times 25, that's positive 625 equals 3,600. Alright, and then arrange class, x squared comes first, then y squared next. So x squared and then y squared, so 144x squared, then copy plus 25y squared, then next will be x, 
subtract the equation plus cx. x with exponent of 1, so negative 5, 7, 6x. Then next will be y, this one, dy, negative 250y. Then next will be e, the constant, the numbers. 576 plus 576 plus 625. Then you transpose 3,600 plus from right to left. So that the remaining equation on the right side plus will be equal to 0. So transpose this one. This is positive. It will be negative 3,600 equals 0. Do not forget plus once you transfer an equation, you change the sign. Alright, so almost done. This will be combine this one class. Combine 576 plus 625 minus this one. Combine this one as a whole. So you add first, then you subtract. So 576 plus 625. Alright, so this will be 576 plus 625. You add 6 plus 5 is 11. 1 carry 1. Alright, 7 plus 1 is 8, plus 2 is 10, carry 1. 5 plus 1 is 6, plus 6 is 12. 1,201. 1,201 minus, okay. 1,201 minus 3,600. Alright, so once again, we have positive 1,201 minus 600. If the signs are not the same, you subtract. Then copy the sign of the larger number. So you need to subtract this one class. We have positive 1,201 and we have negative 3,600. So we need to subtract class. 3,600 minus 1,201. If the signs are not the same, you subtract and copy the sign of the larger number. Subtract this one. So carry 1. So borrow 1. This will be 5. This will be 9. This will be 10. So, 10 minus 1 is 9. Bring down 9. 5 minus 2 is 3. 3 minus, 3 minus 1 is 2. 2,399. Alright, 2,399. And this is negative plus because we have negative 3,600. 3,600 is greater than 1,201. So, we have negative 2,399. Okay, once again, you add this one, and then you subtract it by 3,600. You add, then you combine by 3,600. Alright, so the final answer will be, I hope you're still with me. Let me just put it on the upper part. 144x squared plus 25y squared minus 576x minus 250y. Then negative 2399 equals 0. That's it, plus all set for number 5. Alright, so if the teacher will ask you to find the value of A, B, C, D, and E, once again, plus we just combine like terms, these numbers. You add 576 plus 625, that's 1201 minus 3600, we have negative 2399. Then, the value of A, beside x squared, so our A is 144. Our B, beside y squared, from this equation, B is 25. Our C is beside x, negative 5, 7, 6. Our D is beside y, negative 250. And our E is negative 2399. That's it, class. All set for number 5. So if you have some questions class with number 5, go ahead. You leave a comment in the comment section down below because we will be answering that one. Once again, I hope you learned something new today. And if you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again class, this is Teacher MJ and I hope you learned something new today. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe class. You have a great day. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.